Hi, professionals and students. Welcome back. Another important session, which is uh, specifically useful for functional consultants. Of course, so technical consultants have more details about S11. But still, I'm just guiding whoever getting into the real time. So my name is Jagdish Kumar Naidu. I'm SAP SD S4 HANA consultant, currently successfully running with my 10th project. Okay, I have a huge experience. You can able to find my uh, Udemy profile. So apart from the courses. So here in this session, I would like to discuss about SC11 transaction uh, for functional consultant to find a difference. What is the difference between SC11 and SC16 or SC16N? This is the same, whatever the explanation I'm doing is uh, the same concept applicable for new S4 HANA 202, 2021, whatever you take the version. And at the same time, you can able to compare the same thing in your ECC if you're working in a ECC system. Okay. So before going ahead our session, let me try to show you something. So quickly. So I'm just providing the links of all my Udemy courses, the SAP SD, more than 68 hours. It is available at cheaper rate, somewhere around 300 to 400 rupees. You can click the link and you can subscribe. And one course is for pricing and a few courses available for S4 HANA, okay, BP concept and uh, FSEM integration credit management. And uh, so this is for rebates. And one course specifically recently got introduced, specifically useful for like uh, getting master to how to write a functional specification with RISERS. It is useful for who are the newcomers getting into the real time. Like I have few setup courses available. You can find the links and you can able to see. Let quickly get into the SAP screen now. Okay. So let me open a table. SC16N or SC16. Okay. I'm just going a table called VBAK. Okay. This everyone knew that this table is for your sales order header table display. Okay. So I'm just executing this. You can able to find the details of, uh, you know, whatever the sales orders got created on which date and which customer and document type and all those stuff. This you can able to use in SC16 or SC16M in the similar way. If you go to the um, BBRK, okay, this is for your uh, what do you call uh, billing header table okay so you can able to access this one okay so whereas if you go to here i already explained how we can able to access the uh, technical details okay so it's uh, like you know you can able to handle this one uh, i in my previous video i have explained what is the difference between sc 16 and sc 16 the only Objective is like what is SC11? What is the advantage with that compared with SC16? What is the limitations of SC16 and SC16? And that we are going to learn this now. Okay, so it is displaying the same thing. Now go to the SC11, our fabric transaction for this session. Okay, so you see, I mentioned VBRK here. This is the transaction specifically used by your technical consultants. So there is no Objection like, you know, a uh, functional consultant cannot able to use it if you are uh, from technical techno functional background or else you have some limited knowledge to use S11, you can able to use this. This is very useful. So like, you know, this is basically to display the database table. So here some options are available like, you know, either through view database table or view both are almost the same. Okay. So like uh, view is in structure format. Okay you have a data type data type means like you know uh, it is a bit technical in nature for example if you see uh, customer number uh, customer number it is in numeric uh, number right or sometimes uh, like it is alpha numeric sometimes it might be a character specifically if you go for uh, uh, the text uh, a country if you take uh, that is might be character like that you know if it is number then humor uh numsi like that you know different data type data type means it is technical understandable language for programmers uh so how you are reading the description understanding the field name it will be get fit into this 
okay type group and domain and search help lock object different kind of things will be there so what exactly it is for example here three buttons are there display change this is fine if i try to create it but it says vbrk already exists choose a different name that means you can able to create it by using sc11 not sc16 or sc16 and it has uh, that flexibility for example most of the times g sale overview i'm just creating this name so if i would like to create it see this is not job i'm just i would like to remind you this is not the job of functional consultant technical consultants will do this generally if you go to the real time like you know your standard will be like somewhere 10 to 20 percent sometimes 30 percent but remaining 80 to 70 percent you will have a custom object so to customize the or else you know to create new g tables and the data elements according to the customer requirements okay that's what i'm telling this is what i see 11 comes into picture for um, technical consultant or techno functional consultant but functional consultant alone you need not go through this you can most of the times you will use a display okay so if i click g sales for you it is asking like okay uh, sales data over you i'm just showing okay for your understanding okay it is asking the delivery class this is technical in nature most of times so for example this is the data i'm using for master data or transactional data transaction technical level i'm using like a customizing and maintenance table and the table storing for temporary data like that you know different options available so as of now i'm just choosing this one okay so once you do this okay let's try to save this okay it is asking package okay package means in real time uh, you have uh, like you know they will give the package so the package whatever the uh, uh, objects we save that you can move from landscape to landscape actually so as of now I'm, it is temporary this is i'm saving this see g sales over you got saved okay g sales over you let's uh, come here now go to uh, sc16 now you cannot able to see till that's what i'm showing okay so when i click this so if you see table content nothing will be there so it's not active that means you have to active the table that is a different thing uh, now go to the sc11 again so you have this table okay so so let's go to the change so here you can able to create a fields okay uh, so like uh, so like uh, you can take any any one of the field actually okay so let me try to go to c69 I mean, I will try to take a couple of fields. Actually, functional consultant are not required to do all these things. Okay. So I'm just... Uh, Let me go to the C11. So I'm just giving so you can see automatically this is a standard field. That's why you can able to see um, this thing. Okay. So client means uh, if it is a key field, you have to click this. So this is the above job. Don't worry about this one. What is the basic uh, like uh, advantage uh, with us? So for example, if I am just uh, keeping like, you know, uh, Gcast, okay. So I'm just, uh, so like, uh, let me try to put it, Kunnar. Okay, so let me try to put it. I try to go back and try to check here. So you can able to fill the fields, Kunnar. 
okay field name i'm just giving it as so i'm just giving the standard okay for example so g cost more here i'm just keeping the funnel so if you see this is the field so these fields already available okay g okay let me try to put it this one let's try to save this first okay so it is standard then it is saved suppose you are creating g analysis okay g analysis so here i am giving like uh, g any i'm just giving this one so see if you see this length and uh, this thing is not available if you click here okay double click here so it is asking do you want to save before existing click s yes. okay so create a data element so this is new field right it won't be available okay so i'm just creating analysis indicator i'm just taking this one so i'm just taking both the same okay so i'm just trying to save this so what it is it is a local object it is same now as of now okay maintain field label it is asking so i'm just taking this one okay so everywhere automatically it will take the length okay so length it is taking automatically suppose if you would like to choose you can able to choose domain okay for example uh, so like uh, if you come here attributes so if you'd like to choose data type also you can able to choose it in your own way okay press enter so you can able to take this uh, this one as uh, you can you can take it as a reference also okay so let's save this so now let's try to activate this field okay so g any okay i'm activating this one the center okay so that's it so you activate it activate okay it is asking press center okay if the field is on was not activated because the field is uh, data element is inconsistent okay so that means you have to choose the data element okay okay this is how you can able to create it uh, let me try to go to the more data element okay Okay, let's say enter. Okay, so if the field is not available, then it is showing like this. So you need not actually, you know, need not worry about uh, all these things. I'm just sh showing as of now. So sorry, just uh, take out. This is a technical consultant job. I don't want to confuse you further. But basically, what is the basic advantage with? Uh, with this actually so let's go to the technical settings okay it is asking data class that you can able to choose this i this all these are technical okay so you need not worry okay i'm just uh, choosing the size so probably i'm just taking what is size means how many rows it's supposed to display let's say this okay so Okay, table screen was created. So this is how it will activate it. Now go to SC16. Let's try to execute it. Okay, it's not active. 
once it is activated, it will show here. Okay. So this is how you can able to create a tables. Okay. Let's try to activate this. So let's press enter. So let's click on yes. So now all green messages came. Okay. Now let's come. Let's see 16 and so let's try to execute it. See currently no values available. So that's why it is showing it is like this. So this is how you can able to do this. Okay. Client and customer and uh, so okay now you can able to see maximum number of tweets and all these things so like that you know you can able to create it so whereas sc 16 n you can able to do all these things let me show you main advantage of sc 11 for functional consultants okay so this is how the custom tables sometimes it depends on the category what you choose you cannot able to display all kind of tables with sc 16 n for example if you take structure you cannot able to display for example um, let me go here first sc 16 and you try to find this difference it is very important okay i'm going komg this is basically you know one of the komg you can see what is that table komg is not correct category if you go to the view details it will show you table kom is not correct category. the table kom does not have the correct category the t category allowed is allowed but uh, uh, this table has a category S. S means structure. Okay. Structure means you cannot able to view this one. Okay. It's very, very important. Okay. Let me go to the SC11. The same table I will show you. KYMG. If I can see, I can able to display that. So, different fields. Like this is the KYMG is the structure for your conditions in pricing. In the similar way, sometimes certain tables with certain category that s and t category it is shown right certain category tables you cannot able to display but with this you can able to display this see if you know this if you don't know this you are a functional consultant there is uh, there is nothing to fear but if you know this it, you will have some advantage like you know at the time of working with the technical consultants you will come to know in real time whoever there in real time they know all these things that is the difference actually okay so KOMG, okay. So here some display will be there somewhere like hierarchy display, append structure, different kind of things will be there. Okay, it will show like this. You can able to see different fields, this structure. So for pricing enhancement, uh, this is the table will be useful. Okay, let's close this. Uh, let me try to show you. What about normal table? Okay, for example, same VBA key. If I go, let's click on the display. <coughs> so with this also you can able to display the contents so in s4 hana they have given this button okay you observe this in ecc it is different button contents you can see whether you can press ctrl shift f10 or else you click this one okay you see this similar way through sc11 also you can able to display the data okay so this is the basic difference okay Normal, uh, whatever the tables you can able to open with SC16, SC69, that also you can able to open with SC11. But this is the playground for uh, your technical consultants. There is nothing to worry. Okay. So let's come here. Let me try to check. You can see this. So what exactly you are going to see as a functional consultant? For example, if you displayed here. So the data, you know, you can able to see from database, whatever the data stored against your field structure that is different you can able to see you can able to find the fields for example so date on which record created this technical fields instead of every time you are going f1 and you are checking right it is simple way to check here if you click here so actually this is uh, what i would say this is the job of technical and don't worry so this is domain okay so this is your data type Okay, DATS is uh, data type. So format should be like this. If you, if you choose DATS, I'm just giving information, this format like that, you know, some other data types, you can able to choose it. Okay, mm, so field label. Okay, so created and created and further characteristics. Okay, attributes. So like this, you can able to play with the system. 
so let me go to the another field a u a r t okay if you click here data type okay let's click this one domain if you click here you will find like you know value range so like you know you can able to fix values if you created a with the help of technical consultant a certain value always will be displayed or else you can able to choose lower and upper uh, values also like this you can able to play with the system if it is activated you can able to display if it is not activated you cannot able to display in a c16 app that is the basic difference okay i think you want some kind of knowledge uh, to get into the real name with this okay i'm just uh, i think this session will be useful for you so like uh, as i said that if you would like to learn the full course you can able to join sap sd sales and distribution uh, and uh, have other few set of courses okay okay thank you very much for joining this session thanks a lot have a great day